So, today is the day that you have all been waiting for, the day that LEGO Captain Rex comes out in his Michael Fire. But I've been hearing everyone complain about how LEGO lied, but not how they should fix the problem. When criticizing a massive company like the LEGO Group, I feel like it's also important to show a solution so if they ever do come across this video, unlikely that they will, they find a way to fix the problem in the future. So. The whole problem with Captain Rex is that he released in a $650 LEGO UCS set known as the UCS Vanator. Now this is an amazing set, I absolutely love it as someone who has built the Vanator himself out of LEGO, but LEGO has decided to re-release a figure they said was exclusive to that set. And that figure is Captain Rex. Now when this Captain Rex figure first came out, it was going for $200 on the aftermarket. The value for it was insane. I even think it was crazy that LEGO put it in a set this valuable because not everyone can get it. It's not fair to the person who's only 10 years old who wants to get a Captain Rex figure who can't. Well, LEGO came up with a solution to that, but they did it absolutely wrong. Which brings us to today. June 1st, the release of the Captain Rex's Microfire, which has the exact same figure detail for detail that is in the UCS Vanator, which is not okay because LEGO did say it was exclusive to the UCS Vanator. And people who spent $650 plus tax to buy the UCS Vanator did not deserve to have their values you know, taken away from them. Now, personally, I'm not picking it up because I'm gonna wait for a sale, obviously, but what I find to be really interesting about it is it's actually not a Clone Wars set. It's actually a Bad Batch set because it comes from the scrapyard where the Bad Batch were. So this is technically our third Bad Batch set, which is uh, kind of funny, not going to lie. But to fix this problem of how LEGO could have released this figure better, it's really simple. And we're going to go into that right now. So the first thing LEGO could have done to fix this figure would have been super simple. They could have simply given Captain Rex blue arms. Now, in the ATTE set, Commander Cody does have orange arms, and he has no arm printing. So I feel like if you gave Captain Rex blue arms from the UCS Vanager set and put him in a microfire, it could have been perfect. There would have been no complaints, it still would have been exclusive, and the arm prints in the UCS Vanager Captain Rex figure are exclusive to that set. Because Fives has different arm printing on his main figure, so it still would have been extremely exclusive to the UCS Vanager. Personally, I feel like a lot of fans would have been okay with this and would have been really happy. It would have been a great way for people to get a cheap $10 Rex, but at the same time, keeping the UCS Venture Rex exclusive. My second idea for LEGO to fix this problem is to simply give people the full figure as is. People could have still had the full figure with arm printing because people love arm printing, but they could have changed one thing about it, the head. They could have given Captain Rex an exclusive head torso. Now, what they did for Captain Rex in the venture is they gave him a bandage, right? So they could have easily given Captain Rex a new head for without a bandage or a head with a scar to show where the bandage was after that Order 16. I feel like this would have been a good option as well, but it's just something small LEGO could have done to change it up a little bit. So they keep a very valuable figure, still valuable, but at the same time, give the consumers something they actually want, while still having the highest detail within the figure, because you're having arm printing. This way, for those people who want only the best is good enough, it doesn't degrade the figure in any way, it simply is a different variant of the figure. And my third idea to fix this is simply give refunds. I know you probably can't refund the whole $600 Lego you see this manager set, but I've been seeing around on Instagram and on YouTube from some reputable, you know, YouTubers like Man Doctor Productions. Um, I know it's MNR Productions, I'm joking guys. Um, but I heard that they are actually giving out $60 gift cards to anyone who bought the UCS Vanager who complains to Lego about this. Now personally, I'm not gonna be doing this. I don't think it's really worth the effort to go and complain about this because it's not a big deal to me because I bought the UCS Vanager for the set, not for the Captain Rex figure. Because to be 100% honest, this figure could have been way better. I mean, it still looks pretty good, but it's just, the whole thing is not worth it to me. But if you really want to try and get some money from Lego, you could probably send me an email and maybe something will happen. We'll see. But let me know if you try this down below in the comments and it actually works. I'm genuinely curious to see if it works for a lot of people. I know one person, it might have worked, but that's not saying much. So that's to wrap it up for our thoughts on the Captain Rex made figure dilemma. I hope I was able to give LEGO some positive feedback on how to fix this problem instead of just ignoring it. Maybe they'll take these changes into effect. Maybe they won't. They probably won't, considering they've only done like one made fix change ever in a LEGO set, and it was Finch Dallow from the Resistance Bomber, 
But let me know what you guys think about this down below. Would you have been happy with this result if they got blue arms, a different head, or just a refund? Or not? Let me know down below in the comments what you think about this. I am curious to see all the comments down below. And yes, I think it's great that LEGO is putting this in a cheaper set. Just I hate the fact that they lied to do it. And with that said, that's it for the video today. Make sure to smash that like and subscribe button down below if you wish to see more content like this in the future. I want to try and do some more commentary videos like this in the future. And if this video does well, it will motivate me to do more videos like this. And that's it for now. Go have an amazing June 1st, buy some Lego, and just have a great day.